one where I clipped her ear. Just thought I'd do a quick update video because uh, I've just been doing a lot of sort of reviews lately. But um, well, so I thought I'd do an update, tell you what's coming up, do a proper video, it's got me in it, and uh, just talk about some general crap really. So. I was gonna do the crossbow video today, another part to the uh, the medieval slash modern crossbow. So it's like a medieval crossbow with modern elements to it. And I went out in the shed today, did some work, and it all pretty much fucked up. So this is what I was making today, which was gonna be the basically the trigger, or I think it's called a tickler. But it bent in the wrong places and it broke one time. So I'll show you the footage and talk about that while you're watching the footage. Right, so this is the bit of steel I was going to use. Probably about 12mm thick, I think. Not 100% sure. Maybe half an inch. I didn't bother measuring it. So that's what I was going to use. I was going to cut it into a 11 inch bit this is me measuring it now so I was gonna do 11 inches which leaves me enough to do a couple of spares that's the length it needs to be anyway and then I was gonna bend it right, so this is me cutting it I just thought I'd use a hacksaw it's easier than it's hard to work but you don't have to set an angle grinder up you know so I just cut it off with a hacksaw took a couple of minutes and then you'll see me next just checking it next to the designs which is what I'm doing now just showing you what it's going to become so it needs to be bent into that sort of I don't know what kind of shape you'd call that but that that shape so now I'm just filing off the edges make it a bit more smooth I was hoping this this metal would work but you'll see in a minute that it wasn't quite right really i think it's too thick so now i'm just measuring up for the bends and the problem was is because it's because it's so thick the bends are quite large so i've got a couple of ideas what i could do but um first thing i tried was this i basically just tried bending it by hand and it was quite hard. First of all, I couldn't bend it at all, and I had to use a big pipe. But the other thing I thought of is there's either I could either heat it up, which I do next, or I could cut some grooves into the back of the bends, and then they'll bend at those grooves, if you know what I mean. But I've got one more backup idea. If this doesn't work, because it does work in the end, but you'll see what happens now. Watch this when I try to. This is me bending it purely just with a metal pole no heating no grooves no nothing it's quite hard to bend you know you have to get right up on the end of that pole see it bending you can see the whole vice and the bench moving and then snap snapped it in half so that's not going to work that way completely snapped it so that whole bit's no good now so I gave it another go, which you'll see next. And you can actually see the heat gun in the camera there anyway. You know, the blowtorch in the So I heat it up this time. I didn't get it like completely red or nothing. It was, it was just starting to go red. And then that was enough. And it actually bent. But there's one problem. The bends are slightly too long. You know what I mean? So when the trigger is in, it's going to hang down probably about half an inch more than I want it to. So although I reckon this will work as the trigger, I don't know if I want to use it as the trigger. But like I said, I could either redo this again with the steel I've got left over, just heat it up again because it did, it did bend all right then. Just try it again. See that it bent all right this time. Or I could use some aluminium. I've got a piece of aluminium that I'd be able to make this out of anyway, so yeah, work that time, but I'm not sure if I want to use it now. Alright, so yeah, that was that. But 
But um, what I can do, as I mentioned, is I could either make this out of thinner metal or I've got another technique where I could cut a groove in here. I could cut a groove there and there before I bend it and it should bend better. And yeah, if not, make it out of aluminium. So that's why there's not been a crossbow video today. Um, but hopefully there should be one Monday. Yeah, so there would have been one today, but it all fucked up and then I just wasn't in the mood anymore. Plus, another reason why I haven't been doing stuff like this is I've been doing tiling and painting and redoing kitchen worktops in our house. So that's been like a couple of weeks work. So I've just been doing that instead. You know, I don't really have time to do this kind of stuff. So yeah, that's that. Upcoming videos later on today, possibly, I might do a a new EDC video because my EDC has changed slightly. I'll probably do that. If I don't do that tonight, I may do it Saturday. But that will definitely come. And then, I've got loads of stuff planned. It's just getting the time, really. Um... So these these are this is what's definitely coming up. I've got a Nightcore torch, two double A Nightcore torch with about six modes on it. I'm gonna do that a review for that soon, and then I've got another Ganzo knife coming soon. So I'll do a review on that. Do the crossbow, and then once the crossbow's done, I want to. The next thing I want to make is a. It's, you remember that swinging target I made that you shoot and it shoots the little door across to the next hole and you shoot it and it knocks it back to the one before. Well I had a really good idea of making one about this big I suppose and it's a skull but it's like a terminator skull. So it's like a cyborg skull and what you shoot out are the eyes. So you shoot the eyes and then the little door will flip out and it'll flip to the side and it'll say hit so you you know you know that hit so you shoot the other eye hit and then if it worked i was going to do one for the forehead like a, like a kill shot you know and then you'd shoot that and it would flip up and that would say hit and then what you do like the other half of that bit that said hit it will say reset so you shoot the reset bit and it'll pop it back down so that i've got planned i've, I've done all the designs for it and everything and that I've, I've actually had the design for about a year maybe more it was just I never had the time to do it really. So I've had loads of stuff planned, I just never get time to do it. Or, well, I say the time, I've always got the time. I've never got the motivation. I could just never, I could just never bring myself to do things out of time. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the next thing I want to make, I think. There's loads of stuff. I'm going to make a couple of uh, survival tantos soon, because a couple of people wanted those. So... I'll probably film myself making them. Yeah, well, there's loads coming. Oh, the booze. Yeah, I was going to make the homebrew. I haven't made any since I spoke about it last time. So, as soon as I make some, I'll do a video on that. I'll probably do, like, five litres. I never do, like, the big barrels, because five is enough. Five of this stuff, like, five litres, you'd only drink about one litre a week anyway. So, it would last you about five weeks, you know. Or maybe one and a half if you drink a lot. Because it's like half strength vodka, so... So, yeah, so that's all coming up. Loads coming up. I could sh I'll have to show you my list one day. But I've got a book full of ideas. It's just getting motivated to do it. One other thing that always puts me off is my cameras. They're, like this one, this is the one that films all right from a distance like this. But the batteries only last... Like I've put brand new batteries in this and it'll say that they're dead after like 15 minutes of filming. So that always puts me off. I have to do everything really short. And then my other camera, this one, which is a good camera, and I can film with a, I can film with it on a wire, so it would literally never run out. Uh, sound quality is no good, so I just can't win at the minute. 
I was going to buy, it, oh, it's mad really, I was going to buy a new camera and everything, I had the money, but I had the money in a weird way, I could only get this money in a check, but it was, and it was an American check, and it was just doing my head in, every time I tried to change it, they said you need money in the bank first to change it, uh, just pissed me off, and then in the end I ended up changing the money to just be put straight into Amazon.com, but in dollars, so at least I could spend it, but which then meant I couldn't buy a camera. So but yeah, if I ever get a new camera, chances are videos will come a lot more, you know. Um, and then when I change to that new room as well, that'll help, because then I can film stuff like this in there. But at the minute, the room I'm in is so small, the, the camera's like here, so my head's like a funny other thing. You know, no one wants to see that. So yeah, that's a bit of rambling bollocks, so possibly well, EDC soon, a couple of reviews, and then the crossbow will definitely be done pretty much after the EDC, you know, I can't promise anything, but I want to start doing it again, so yeah, that's about it really. Don't forget to visit my blog, the link will be down below in the more info section. And if I forgot to say anything about anything, I'll add that in there. Yeah, that's about it really. Right, see you later.